wrestling program from the Pacific, Roy Starr meets fellow countryman Lars Anderson. From our video library, more action of top Samoan Steve Arthur. Steve Rickard talks about that mean man Leduc. Mark Lewin is still steaming about the world title fight and tells us why. And Zar the Mongolian demonstrates his awesome strength. But to open this action program, two lovely ladies from the USA. Peggy Patterson after revenge and after Sue Green. Peggy Patterson. Sue Green takes Peggy to the canvas and an arm drag, and another one. Arm bar by Sue Green. Peggy Patterson throws her off. One to the midriff. Flying mare. And Sue Green hits the canvas again. That was heavy. Peggy Patterson with a uh, forward headlock and Sue Green forces it into the ropes and the referee calls for a break. Monkey flip, Japanese monkey flip by Sue Green. Forward headlock. Referee Chris Miller trying to move in, trying to break the girls. Order them out of the corner. Patterson on the ropes. Kick to the stomach by Peggy Patterson. Sue Green on canvas. Another hard one and uh, Sue Green locks the canvas again. Flying Mare and Patterson. Patterson looking for a cover. Peggy Patterson and Sue Green. Sue Green, international women's champion. By the side headlock. Well, she's showing it here, Steve, but it doesn't seem to need that extra weight. No, she's uh, giving away quite a lot of weight, but uh, she has control of this match. Sue Green very much in control. Still with the side headlock applied. Patterson takes Green high in the air. Head scissors. Nicely out of that one, Steve. the heavy one of the chest. Patterson, Patterson coming to a feed. Two green already up. Kick the stomach by Peggy Patterson. And Sue Green on the canvas again. Body slam. Nice body slam. And a cover. Look, this could be a fall. No count of one. Heavy forearms to the back. And Sue Green goes for a drop kick. Peggy Patterson moves back and uh, uh, Green misses the drop kick. Long mare. And the big axe by Sue Green. There goes the bell and the end of the match. The referee's decision, a draw. Well, I think the Sue Green really had control of that match, and that drop kick that she misses might have just been the undoing for it. I think so too, Barry. As you see that heavy slam, and here you've got uh, Peggy Patterson covering Sue Green almost for the winning fall. Sue Green coming up off the canvas, and uh, Peggy Patterson also. They come in and she brings this heavy forearm down over the shoulders. 
trying hard to, uh, to recover the issues of that Japanese stomach flow. Taking, uh, the, ah, there's that drop kick. And Peggy Patterson, you see, that steps away and Green hits the canvas. Well, just about everyone is talking about the world title fight between Ric Flair and Mark Lewin, in which Lewin won and then lost the title on a disqualification. Now, Lewin, as you can imagine, is still devastated. He certainly could have uh, woken me over with a feather. I was so elated, you know. There the moment was in, in the belt in my hands, and I was the world heavyweight champion. And then to have it taken from me was just, uh, I was just in awe because I, I had the feeling of a one, two, three on uh, Mr. Ric Flair. So now it's just, uh, just getting back there because uh, once you've beaten somebody, you know, that feeling of being ahead is there. And I definitely feel, you know, that part of it anyway. I didn't get to buy the Mercedes Benz or the uh, Rolls Royce yet, but uh, I know I can beat uh, Mr. Ric Flair. Like these opportunities don't come very often. Um, how, when do you think you'll get another crack at the title then? Well, of course, it's up to the uh, NWA. They're, they're investigating it. Of course, uh, we do have a, a film of it, you know, which you saw last week uh, here in New Zealand, uh, showing me beating the, the world champion. And there was quite a few promoters that uh, had flown in because they felt there would be a title change. I've used uh, every bit of... Uh, positive thinking, you know. I've gone through the pain barrier. I, I know what kind of condition I'm in. And I'm just going to keep on, uh, you know, if you knock on the door long enough, someone will answer. The echoes of that match are going to be heard for a long while yet. Talking of bad moments, during my last visit to the East, I ran into none other than Joe LeDuc. Remember, he was banned from New Zealand after that terrible free-for-all out of the ring. Watch this. Ricky Rickard goes into Joe LeDuc again to have another go. All sorts of nasty tactics going on here, Steve. Don't worry about it. Yeah, Ricky the man. The Duke's in there. Who's legally in there? Must be Ricky and Joe the Duke. And uh, Ricky takes the Duke, pushes him back low, picks him up for body slam. Slams in. Covers him. He should uh, be looking for another tag here. Get the tag. Must have made the tag. We didn't see it, but he must have made the tag. He tagged Mark Lewin. Mark Lewin with a sleeper applied. Bannigan comes in. And Willa and Lewin throws Bannigan into Miller and Bannigan. Takes over on Bannigan. Bannigan's got Miller on the rope. Ricky Rickard in there with a the duke in the corner. Six men in the ring at one time. Action plus action. Two of them there legal, legally. The referee didn't account. Blind account. Telling someone to leave, but who oh. he's telling? No one knows. Because Ricky out of the ring. Joe LeDuc and Brady, uh, Joe Luke and Bob Miller. Hello. They double post. They double post Ricky. Ricky hits the floor. Ricky hits the floor for a double posting. We've had a lot of inquiries as to what happened to my son Ricky. Ricky is now playing rugby, softball and many other sports. He's given wrestling away for a short time and hopefully we'll see him back in the ring again. Ring action continues with the Battle of the Yanks. Roy Starr and Lars Anderson. Lars Anderson, Anderson takes down the ropes and pulls him out for a flying man. Anderson falls to a cross ring, comes down looking for the big axe, but uh, Star moves out of the way. Body slam by Anderson. Heavy one to the chin. Bar. Anderson turns star around, brings the knee up into the stomach. Another big knee by Anderson. Anderson not giving star any opportunity at all in this match. Referee warning Anderson for using it close, but. Chest by Anderson. 
No foul. Roy Starr has done nothing in this match. Joe no Cole to uh, take Starr to canvas. And Anderson behind with a face up. And a heavy fist to the, to the chest. A lot of warnings from the referee, Steve. Yes, he has had a lot of warnings, Barry. And the referee, of course, watching his head. Although, Starr still not in this match at all. Anderson looking for a figure four leg lock. There's a figure four leg lock. And uh, this is a, almost a submission hold. The referee calling for the bell. There must be a submission. Figure four leg lock. And uh, Chris Schmiller, the referee, ordering Anderson to break. And he will award a fall to Anderson. Submitting to the figure four leg lock, and it is a win to Lars Anderson. Well, Steve Roy Star never got a look in on this one after uh, Lars Anderson working on his head most of the time, then managed to get it on the hole with the lift. No, he did not get a look in uh, Barry, but uh, when Lars Anderson applied uh, applied the figure four leg lock, of course, it was almost certainly all over. But Lars and Anderson just took over from the start of the match, stayed on top all the way through. And when the, finally the end came, Roy Starr submitted to the hold, Anderson even then fouled to, uh, he actually fouled to break the hold, and the referee had to... Uh, order him away from it. And here he is just about coming into that right now. He there was the big elbow the as elbow. Star hit the canvas. Now this is it here now. You can see uh, as Anderson steps across to apply the uh, leg bar and he steps right across the top of him to come out with this figure four leg lock and here it is, the figure four which is, uh, as I say, almost uh, a certain submission hold. Coming up, Siva Arpa and the awesome strength of Tsar the Mongolian. The Mongolian Tsar and Gore are an international tag team of repute, a combined weight of 650 pounds, and add to that the strength of Tsar, a world powerlifting champion. Well, he shows us what it's all about with over 500 pounds on the bar. We have about five and a quarter, maybe 5.30. It's quite light for my brother. Uh, he'll be just doing this to warm up. He'll be doing a number of repetitions. After he gets done here, he'll be going into doing the curl, uh, which he'll probably do about two and a quarter, two fifty. Quite. So quite you're light. saying you're saying that you're going to use five hundred pounds to warm up with. I mean, yeah. five hundred pounds is like a maximum lift, you know, to uh, to most people in the world of powerlifting. To most people, it is, but not to us. Five hundred pounds is just a light warm up for us. Well, let's. Uh, I'm interested. Let's see what happens here. Uh, how many days a week do you work out? And uh, we train seven days a week. This is 500 pounds. 500 pounds, easy. Really, this is incredible. Incredible. How this many times light. does he do this? this he light. does this every day. Every day, every day he does this. What is the uh, maximum poundage that he can make? Poundage, well over 800 pounds by Here himself. This is amazing. I guess now the uh, this is. Uh, it's an awesome weight as far as I'm concerned. We're now going to see a uh, demonstration of uh, curling. Is that curling, not true? Yes. How about helping take some of these weights off? Very easy. Very as you easy. can see, nothing. This is the uh, biceps nothing. are like... Uh, 21, 22 inch arms. 22 inch arms. 22 inch arms. Look at them shoulders. Look at that chest. The man is awesome. The man is awesome. Lars Anderson is an American who is more than quietly confident of his own ability. I've traveled all over the world. I'm the greatest professional wrestler in the world of wrestling. And to prove it, I put up $2,000 to any man that can defeat me in three rounds. And there's not a man in the world that can do it. You know, I ran Peter Maivia out of Europe and I would have run him out of New Zealand except for the fact that the man died of fear but now his cousin Siva Afi is after me he wants me well I'll tell you one thing 
you know, this is street, Steve Rickard's protege, you know, this Polynesian goof. I'll tell you one thing. There's not a Polynesian in the world that's going to defeat me. You know, I don't like those people. They're lazy and they don't belong in the wrestling business. The Afi, don't come after this money because you won't get it. You'll get a beating of your life. Do you understand that beating of your life? And Link, the fat man that I carried all over the world. That's right. He wants me. Link, you're a fat farming fool. Stay out of my business. Stay out of my business. Siva Afi is a Samoan who should be given another chance at Flair's title. He's coming to New Zealand shortly during his Pacific tour to get into shape. Here's a flashback from our video library of his style and class. Seva with a hammerlock applied to John De Silva. John trying to counter his way out of it. He twists under, underneath Seva Arpin, looking for the counter. Seva, now a fine young wrestler in his own right. John De Silva, the more experienced. Seva right in there all the way. Seva with youth on his side. John with a flying mare takes Siva over and Siva holds on to that hammerlock, applying the pressure. Again, John goes for a counter with a flying mare, but Siva still holding on to that hammerlock, countering nicely. Holds the advantage. John counters the hold now with the Japanese wrist lock applied on Siva Afi. Siva counters with a hip toss. Now takes John over with a forward headlock, taking him to canvas, looking for a count here. Counter two as John throws off. Six minutes to go in this match. Siva obviously the faster of the two wrestlers. He holds John in a, in a wrist lock. John with the experience and weight on his side. Head scissors by Siva Afi. Applying the pressure. Legs locked together. Five minutes remaining. Seaver with a arm bar on John the Silver. Takes Seva up for a body slam, and Seva still holds on that arm and comes out again with one through the head of John and comes out with that counter. Seva playing a very cunning game here, not taking the match to John. You know, my only ambition is to become a champion. And there's nothing to stop me. I could have a crack at any title. John goes, referee Chris Miller, brings Teo Gaga and Calvin Steiger to center ring. Stone. There's two headlocks, comes down to a hammerlock, and he's covered with another hammerlock by Siva Afi. Siva Afi Togaga, a man that's improved tremendously, gone from strength to strength over the last couple of years. Very fast wrestler, and now a very clever wrestler. And teaming up with Jack Claiborne, we should see some fireworks from these two fine wrestlers. Siva Afi applying the pressure. And the crowd liking it very much. Sivafi still with the hammerlock applied. Converts to an armbar.
Hagago tags Claiborne. Claiborne comes in, takes over the same hold. Good teamwork. And the crowd liked that one, but uh, Sivarati really should move in there. He had them off balance. He should have moved straight back in. There's a chance for recovery and a tag. First Pet Lostar goes down to two arm drags, then Carl von Steiger, and they both leave the ring. Terence Garvin uh, telling them to settle down there. They're going to pick up a chair and uh, get into the ring, but he's thrown it down. Terence Garvin telling them to get back in there, talking to Sevy. Referee Chris Miller counting. One minute to go in this round. Targaga going very, very well in this tag match. Headbutt by Steve Arfie. Throws the head of Bertrand Steiger into the turnbuckle. Steiger coming over, coming back and taking over on Targaga. Only 30 seconds remaining in this first round of this tag match. Referee calling for a break. Gina <laughs> packs and Stryker over and in. Very neat package for a near pin. The referee with a count of two breaks it and the gong goes. This is Kurt Von Steiger comes into the ring, but there's Siva in another position to get a pin fall, but the gong has gone. The referee must break the hold. The referee calling for a break with Kurt Von Steiger's pin cleaning to the mat. Hello, for Samoa. Donald Pia. Pat Siva for a mile to Neyasu. Roman, we are for my toe. A world time be down a while out. Tak mesti sampai. Tapi ya, mesti tak champagne ya, wah, tak terus nampak semua. And that's all the on the mat action from World Pro Wrestling. Well, we started with the ladies. Let's end it that way. Remember this wrestler? Yes, it's Sabrina with a 52-inch bust, shapely figure, and the ring power to match. But alas, fans, sadly, retired and living quietly in New Zealand. Well, that's it. Join me and Steve at the ring next time.